Industry experts say auto insurance could get significantly more expensive over the coming months. So what's causing this and what will it cost you? On your site's Christine Lazar joins us with the details. Christine, say it ain't so. Everything's going up. <laughs> I mean, it is across the board, and that's why the auto insurance companies say they need to raise their rates. Of course, consumer watchdog groups say, hold on now. Yeah. I will say California is very consumer friendly, so they can't have any sort of rate increase without an approval from the insurance department. Okay. So that's good. The average cost of car insurance in Los Angeles, it now tops 2500 bucks a year, and many of the major carriers recently got hefty rate increases approved, boosting rates by as much as 20%. You can look at this like a crock pot, right? All of these things have been stuffed in the crock pot for the last three or four years, and it's gotten, and the pressure has gotten to the point where it's starting to explode. Insurance agent Carl Sussman says the rising cost of repairs, higher accident rates, and increasingly bad driver behavior has the auto insurance market here in California in turmoil. It's either the carriers are leaving because they're losing money, or the Department of Insurance has to start allowing them to start raising rates. And what we're seeing now is sort of a whiplash effect of the last several years. State Farm has filed for a 20% rate increase. Travelers implemented a 19% increase in April. Progressive asked and were approved for a 19% increase. Geico is asking for a more than 20% increase. All state has asked for a nearly 45% increase, and Hartford has asked the state to approve a nearly 19% increase. The larger numbers that you're seeing now are unprecedented. The fact that you're seeing 20% rate approvals is. Amy Bach with the United Policyholders, a nonprofit consumer advocacy group, agrees that the cost of doing business has gone up across the U.S., but she thinks it's still very profitable to insure California drivers. They're making money in California. This is a business strategy, and hopefully the Department of Insurance will hold the line um, as they have been. As for the future, both Sussman and Bach think after rates increase, they will soon come back down. We have been in a hard market. What that means it's a seller's market. It means that insurers are competing less and charging more. We fully expect that the pendulum will come back. And then when competition starts acting up again, all of a sudden, now you're going to have companies that will start lowering their rates because they're going to be competing to try and get business. And there are some things you can do to lower your premiums. First off, raise your deductible to at least $1,000. Also, most insurers will give you a 5 to 10% discount if you take a defensive driving course. You can bundle your insurance. And finally, don't be afraid to shop around. Get a good broker, someone yeah. who's aggressive. You know, there's a lot of options out there. So if you're not getting a good deal, you think with who you have yes. now, shop around. What about if you have a lapse in coverage though? So that's really important to bring that up. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you have a lapse in coverage, if you don't have auto pay set up and you don't pay on time, they're not gonna just pick back up your coverage yeah. and give you the same rate you have. Mm -hmm. They're gonna put you on that higher tier of whatever right. new customers are getting, which is usually gonna be a higher rate. Yeah. So that's a really good reminder for people, make sure you are on auto pay so you don't have a lapse in coverage and you don't get stuck with the higher rate. Wow, all right, great advice, Christine. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much.